FitFest 24.1. It is the rowing relay. We're going to waterfall 500 meter rows. So the four of you put together, it's going to equal 2,000 meters. Person number one, you're going to start on the rower. You're going to row 500, then you're going to hop off immediately. Person number two, you're going to begin your 500 meters while person number one starts doing as many reps with the jump rope as possible. Uh, RX is going to be double unders. Scaled is going to be single unders and participate. You get to choose whatever reps you want to do. Person number two, you're going to row while person number one is jumping rope. When person number two completes their 500 meters, person number one stops and person number two goes to the jump rope. So pretty simple stuff. We got a little uh, floor layout here. You're going to row, then you're going to move to the jump rope and then somebody else is going to fill in on the rower when they're done. If you are jumping rope, put your rope down, get out of the way. And then, um, person number two will uh, pick up so on and so forth um, your score is going to be your 2,000 meter row time but why are we jumping rope every five reps so again for RX it's double unders for scaled it's singles every five reps is going to subtract one second off of your 2,000 meter row time so for example 100 double unders for an RX team is going to get them 20 seconds off of their time there's a time cap of nine minutes and the tie break is going to be the row without the jump rope bonus. Now, what does that mean for partner number four? Person number four, you are going to row until you are done with your 2000 meters. Your judge will write down your 2000 meter time and then you have until the nine minute mark to get as many double unders as you can. If you want, you can just stand there, you can rest up, uh, or you can go for uh, as many double unders or singles, whatever division you're in. Any questions at all? Shoot us a message. Look forward to seeing you guys in here October 26th.